This video allows you to watch just the input, output, and neural activity of Spawn while it performs several tasks. These tasks are demonstrated and described in more detail in a previous video. Here we can see that the input is a 28 by 28 pixel image on the right, which is processed by the spiking neural networks of the model. Activity of some of these networks is shown by the colored plots on the brain. Red indicates high activity, and blue low activity. As the model has over 2.5 million neurons, only a small proportion are shown. However, these are mapped to their corresponding anatomical areas. For example, infrared temporal cortex, the highest level of the visual hierarchy, is at the back of the brain, while mortar areas are in their vertical stripe in the middle. Executive control areas are at the front, with working memory areas just behind them in prefrontal cortex. In addition, two parts of the basal ganglia, which in fact lies underneath cortex, are shown in the horizontal stripes in the middle. The top stripe is the striatum, the input to basal ganglia, and the bottom stripe is globus pallidus internus, the output from basal ganglia. The basal ganglia as a whole is monitoring the cortical states to determine the next most appropriate cognitive or physical action. Physical actions themselves are evident in the movement of the arm. Though simplified, the arm is a dynamic physical model of a limb having mass, length, inertia, and so on. This simulation is likely too fast and unfamiliar to demonstrate the subtleties of the model. In the next video, I show similar tasks, but include graphs that allow us to see dynamic interpretations of this neural activity at a slower speed. Essentially, we can read Spawn's mind to get a sense of how it thinks.